I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime and Punishment! <laughs> Silence! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! I must consult the briefs. <clears throat> do you think she did it? Do you, do you think she's guilty? Me too. Ah! Sean! Sorry, Sean, <laughs> you have been found guilty. The jury have found you guilty of crimes punishable by slime. What say you? I think Sonny J really wants Objection, to have a Objection, I'm a Sean from the radio on the morning. I must now introduce to you the case for prosecution. I'm Harps Court attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Shan with a series of tough questions. Now, if our star gets it right, they get one point. However, if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough mm -hmm. slushness when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, Shan, it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now! <laughs> Which British singer is set to appear on US talent show The Voice as a mega mentor? Adele? Ed Sheeran. Slime! Oh! Oh! This fashion week ended on Wednesday, but which famous cartoon family modelled outfits on the runway? The Simpsons? Correct! Oh! Which celebrity dancer was knocked out of last Saturday's Strictly Come Dancing? Oh, I missed it! Nina Wadia. Oh! Including today, how many days of the year have there been so far in 2021? How many days? Uh, 205. Ooh, 280 times. Oh! <laughs> a special set of stamps are being issued to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the formation of which sport? I didn't understand the question. Rugby Football <laughs> Union. Slime <laughs> of drawings, sketches and paintings by which champion boxer has sold at auction for nearly one million dollars? Um, Take a guess. Lloyd Mayweather. Muhammad Ali. Oh! 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 TV star Sharon Osbourne's birthday today, but how old is she? Um, how old is Sharon? 60? 69! Oh! Which <laughs> British racing drivers recently celebrated their 100th Formula One race win? Uh, um, Hamilton. Correct. Yes. The spacecraft Bepi Colombo returned on Monday with <laughs> black and white photos of which planet? Uh, the moon? Mercury. Ah! <laughs> which loose women panellist and former X Factor contestant gave birth to a baby girl this week? Oh, um, Stacey Solomon. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> we ran out of time. <laughs> Because it was weighing me down. Oh. Three points, three questions, that's good. Don't laugh at my mic. It's a safety. Now, how do you feel? How do you feel? Um, very slimy. You, you shan't be getting out of this one. Oh. <laughs> Took me two hours to think of that. Right then, well, I sentence you to one further question. No. <laughs> so, Sean, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you leave the studio a free person and you give yourself 20 points. Mm. Yeah. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. Oh, dear. <laughs> Can I have some tension music, please? Uh. Here is your ultimate question, Sean. Feeling confident? Definitely not. All right. Here goes. The very first commercial song played on Capital Radio was Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel. But how long is that song uh. in seconds? Oh. Uh, uh, 350 seconds. Ooh. The answer is actually 293 seconds, no! which means you are wrong. wrong. But before you get super slimed, I think it's only right if Sonny J takes no. the first yeah! bucket. Don't let Sonny in! Don't let him in! Don't let him in! Don't let him in! Stunned! Got a face for radio, Sean, now, haven't you? Uh, thanks. It's okay, you look wonderful now. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. Have you ever wondered, ever wondered what happens to our guests, our guests after they get slime? slime. Well, they have the walk of slime, of course. Tom's not here because he's dashed off to follow the Venga Boys to their next gig. So I'm standing in. I'm voice guy. 
So, Sean, how are you feeling right now? Um, very, very slimy and gooey. You look slimy and gooey. Is it how you expected it to be? Um, it was worse. Definitely a lot worse. Wow. Was it warm? Was it cold? It was freezing cold. Where did you keep it? I swear you made it colder. It's not my... I'm not in charge of the slime. Don't blame me. It's just the people who look after and make it nice and cool <sighs> so you can have a nice chilly experience. What's more challenging, being on radio or being slimed? I, I actually think that was the hardest point of my career. Really? Yeah. I see it as a career high point. <laughs> and what a lover 2007 has asked, do you wear pyjamas whilst presenting early in the morning? Oh, I wish we could. They don't let us. There's too many cameras in there. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, very casual. Um, and I've got to ask you, if you could have any animal as a pet, which animal would you choose? Oh, I'd have a giraffe, definitely. Yeah, you can reach all the high things for me. Yeah, but you'd have to build a new house. That's all right. I'll sort it out. It's like a massive, tall, weird house. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Layla Sailor has asked, uh, which do you like more, being on radio? or being on TV. Oh, that's too tough. I love them both. They're both so much fun. They are both so much fun. I agree. But I'm just a voice, so you never see me on TV. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what food combination do you think is the worst? Food combination. Oh, which food combination do I think is the worst? Uh, probably having um, jelly on sausages. That is a bad food combination. Have you ever done that yourself? No, not yet actually, but it was something that I was I was sort of you know, thinking I might just do. Yeah, no, I think it's worth a try. It sounds nice. Uh, who would you have as a host on the radio? Joe, Harps or Stanley? Oh, you know I've got to answer you, Stanley. Stanley! <laughs> that's good. I'm not Stanley. I'm Stanley's friend. Oh. But that's okay. Stanley would be here if he could be. <laughs> I'm not here at the moment. I'm doing something else. Well, that's <laughs> fair enough. Um, and he told me to say that. No, I know, of course he did. Slime Naomi 490 has asked, what is your favourite thing about being a radio presenter? The very best thing. The very best thing about being a radio presenter is that you get to do lots of fun things every single day, listen to amazing music and meet some pop stars and some actors and some yeah. YouTubers and it's a lot of fun. Every that, day. that is a good job. I would love that job. Uh, and finally, could you describe Saturday Mashup in three words? Oh, slimy, silly, and do you know what? No more questions. Radio's what? only whoa, in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought I could be your radio sidekick. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now.